Hey guys, just wanted to show you my lineup for this Saturday's game. Alright, I'll be handing out some of these blasters to some friends, my partner's coming as well. Um, personally, I will be using the Vector, I will be using the HK416 and probably um, my Gen 8 that I've built. Um, but the rest of them will go to other people. Like the the ACR will go to my mate Martin. Um, the probably the Gen 9 would be going to my partner, and um, the Gen 8, if Dash feels like using it, he'll use it. But if not, somebody else can have it. And then the um, the scar goes to whoever's unlucky enough to have to deal with this piece of shit. <laughs> so now I'll just go through and tell you a little bit about each one and uh, what I've done to them. Up first I've got the Gen 8, alright, Jim Ming, M4A1, SMG, um, it's got a 460 motor in it, okay, Chi High, um, nylon box, metal gears, metal piston head, uh, nylon piston with a metal ladder, uh, metal uh, cylinder head, um, the cylinder itself is stock but it runs pretty good. Um, I think it's a 25 25cm 25 metal alloy barrel and it's got a concealed hop up inside the silencer there. Fire test of the Gen 8. Pretty good. Next up we got the HK 416D LTD. Alright, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, I'm running nice Turnergy battery. Alright. Absolutely love these batteries. It's completely stock on the inside. Alright, I'm assuming it's running nylon gears, but I haven't pulled it apart yet. I will be soon, but I've got a J10 hop up concealed in the flash hider there. This thing is an absolute beast. I love it. Ridiculous. Next one I've got is the tried and true Scar V2 Jim Ming. All right, this thing is running a 480 motor. All right. Um, can't remember what model, but. This is a 480, uh, full metal internals. It's got a plastic box around it though. Seems to be working, but it is the old plastic box that I've been using for yonks. It's probably one of the first ones I've got. So it's thrashed to buggery, some threaded screws in there, but you know, it still works pretty good. Um, nice little hop up on the end there that I've had to glue on because it just didn't sit pro properly, but you know, it works. Scar. Pretty good. Next one along, we've got the ACR. All right, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, fully stock at this point. I will be upgrading it. I've got parts coming, but you know, with an 11 volt, it goes pretty hard. Um, I'm going to change the motor. I'm going to give it a new barrel. Um, probably completely rip out the internals, but you know, every blaster is a project. But I'm loving it. it feels solid. Greatly built blaster. Let's see. Uh, pretty good. Sturdy as. Then we've got another Gen 8 M4A1 SMG. Alright, this is Dash's, my stepson's. Um, it's got a 480 motor in it. Alright, goes pretty hard. Um, fully metally upgraded internally uh, and a DK hop up on the end there um, he loves it but he usually runs around with a knife anyway so I'll just hand it off to someone else so yep that's just Gen 8 yeah now this is a project that some of you may have seen me work on already it's a um, Gen 9 that's been completely 
hollowed out to fit in a war interest uh, V2 gearbox. All right, running a Mini Tamiya connection to the battery. Um, I've had feeding issues, but I seem to get it under control at this point. Um, but you know, it's a trial by fire situation. We'll see how it goes on the field, but it's got a nice hop up on there as well. Not technically designed for this specific one, but custom Gen 9, the one with a little bit of feeding issues, but you'll see. Not bad. This one here you'll have a laugh at. It's actually um, a Terminator V2 that I've just hollowed down into a little machine pistol and it goes surprisingly well for just an old shitty uh, Terminator so I'm just giving it a dash to run around with and just mow people down while it runs. Now the old Terminator pistol machine. Not bad. Last one on the list here is the Vector V2. All right, uh, I got this upgraded by um, Troy. It's an absolute legend when it comes to building these things. Um, I couldn't have done it myself. The the gearbox is just a nightmare in my opinion. I'm better with the Gen 8s and the Gen 9s. Um, but he's also got, I managed to conceal the hop up in there. He showed me how to do that as well. It's pretty simple to do after you, you know, pull it apart, but he is an absolute beast with these things. So thank you again, Troy. Now the Vector, Troy, is kindly customized for me. That's insane. But yeah, after that, that's that's it. That's all of them. We'll see you on the field on Saturday. Happy Boston.